Hey guys, Nick with Phone Arena reporting for you from MWC 2014. Right now I'm taking a quick hands-on look at the new Nokia X phone which just got announced here at MWC. This is Nokia's long rumored Android device and we're gonna go over its software peculiarities in a little bit but first let's focus on the design of this handset. So you can instantly tell that this is a Nokia made phone. It features many of the specific characteristics of a Nokia device such as the unibody polycarbonate construction. The device feels quite solid and quite sturdy in the hand. It's made of colored polycarbonate. It's gonna be available in a number of colors right here at green one. Here on the right side of the device we see its power and volume keys that are raised and provide a really nice click when pressed. On the top side of the phone we see it's 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and there's nothing on the left side. On the bottom we just have a port for charging. On the back of the phone we find a single mono loudspeaker and the camera which is actually a pretty humble shooter but we'll check that out in a little bit. Now let's focus on the software running on this device. Google services are nowhere to be found even though this is an Android device in a way. What you actually see is Nokia's custom experience which has drawn quite a lot of inspiration from Nokia's Lumia range. What you see is the home screen which is organized in tiles and I'm pretty sure that there isn't a, uh, an app drawer so you just use this instead of one. All the apps and features are listed here in this vertical list. We see a lot of games from popular developers which is good to see. Up here we have the most frequently used uh, features and apps such as the phone, the contacts list, the messaging application, the web browser, the store and uh, so on. When you swipe to the right you get to the fast lane. This is an interface feature which acts kind of like a notification panel. It lists your missed calls, recent messages, it will display how many likes your photos have on Facebook and stuff like that. It also lists previously used applications right up here. I have my alarm clock. You can access the fast lane with a swipe to either direction which is nice. Up here at the top you get a set of toggle switches for your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, your data connectivity and you also see two SIM card indicators. This is in fact a dual SIM device but it will be available in a single SIM version only. Storage space is quite limited on this phone but if you choose to get the Nokia X Plus model you get a micro SD card slot for storage expansion. As for the camera on the Nokia X you get a pretty humble 3 megapixel fixed focus shooter with a no LED flash. So let's see what the camera app looks like. And uh, here we are. We don't expect this to be a great camera, of course, but it should get the job done when no other camera is around. You can shoot 3 megapixel photos on it, you can take panoramic photos and record video with this with this camera. You get some some settings such as adjusting the white balance, the exposure, stuff like that, just the usual stuff. As you already mentioned, the Nokia X is built on top of Android, the Android operating system, and in fact, it can run many of the Android apps that are already available, that are already out there. For example, here we have Tetris by EA Games, and it runs pretty, it runs pretty well, no lags or delays. Of course, we're not expecting it to handle heavy games as good as this. Speaking of games and apps, you'll be able to sideload applications on this device, but of course, com compatibility isn't 100% ensured. You get a number of Nokia specific features preloaded with the Nokia X smartphone. For example, here we have Care Maps with support for offline navigation. You can actually download your maps offline and use your navigation even when you're not connected to the internet. We also see Nokia Mixed Radio, which is really great for having. And some of the other apps that come preloaded on the Nokia X are the Facebook application, the Twitter app, and you also get a Skype client. Here we are at the settings menu and if you ever use an Android device you should be feeling right at home. Let's try and see what version of Android this is based on. Oh uh, well unfortunately, unfortunately we cannot get such information. What else can we take a look at? How about the storage of this device? 
Well, uh, yeah, 1.28 gigs, that's not a whole lot, but as we said, at least you get a slot for a micro SD card. What else can we take a look at? How about better information? Nope, no detail, better information, but at least you get an indication as to what is draining your battery. So that concludes our quick hands-on look at the new Nokia X smartphone. For more details about this great low-end device, just visit our website phonearena.com.